back up here for my game. Eh, uh, uh, I don't know about that one. I really don't know about that one. I, so what what are we seeing here? Is this an offlane doom with Skywrath Mage and the Juggernauts in the dual safe lane and the Wisp with the Ember Spirit mid? Remaining. I mean, I was already kind of considering the Ember Spirit Five with the Wisp seconds. already as a mid lineup. I, I think that actually could be a pretty good way to ensure Ember Spirit has a good time in lane. And then the Wisp, since you're on Radiant side, has two different stacks you can pull and stack anyway. So, I can see that. Doom off lane. Yeah, okay, I guess I guess this is going to work. It's, it's odd. I think it definitely can be exploited by the laning phase. Radiant team. And, uh, oh, oh my god. Is this going to be a Ferrari Earthshaker? It's going to be a Ferrari Earthshaker. Holy cow. So, that's one way to deal with an Ember Spear right there is just eat right through. Who gives a crap about his stupid flame guard when you've got a, uh, uh, <laughs> and enchant totem. Physical damage nuke straight to the face. So, uh, I'm loving this. I am I am loving this from Invictus Gaming. I mean, I really thought they could have exploited the early game thanks to the uh, very Ten greedy seconds. pickups, I would say. Uh, from the side of... Five seconds. From Lie Gaming. Remaining. But, whew! Chisbug is going to be playing a support Lich, so we're going to be seeing dual lanes uh, Lich behind this entire the off lane. We have Chuan maybe sitting the Razor at the top, and then Ferrari in the mid as the Earthshaker going up against the Ember Spirit. Now, looks like we're going to be seeing offensive trial lane. The Wisp is not going to be going with the Ember Spirit, and uh, that means good news, I would say, for the Earthshaker. I would have preferred to see Super go and... Help the Ember Spirit in the mid, especially since Earthshaker, I think, is going to be pretty potent mid against him. And then stack up these camps, go and, and just block out, just you know, go in, clear through the trees like you normally do, and then pull both camps, stack them both. Maybe you even go for a uh, real early um, pull by being able to use the tether when range creeps attack you and, and actually maybe deny some of those creep waves to the Earthshaker. As I say that, uh, Chisbug, where is he going? I, I mean, the Lich Centaur is a really great dual lane. But Lich is apparently going to be sitting mid instead, which will require a support to rotate mid. Super is going to have to go mid for this uh, this Ember Spirit if that's going to be the case. But I'm not sure what Chisbug is doing, why he is not going for a level 1 sacrifice. Okay, now he's rotating back. So he'll make miss like five seconds sacrifice time, but that's fine. The battle begins. Like two seconds. So we'll see whether or not Chisbug actually rotates to the bottom lane or stays in this mid. Kind of would like to see a mid just because they need to be able to dump on this Ember Spirit as much as possible. And here we go. Ferrari's going to be starting off with a um, a very, very stat-based build with the four branches plus uh, a thing of tangos. She'll ensure himself a, a pretty fast bottle. Rotation in from the supports, though. This is not to be expected, though. I don't really see a whole lot of value in the, the level one wisp rotating around. And the doom doesn't really have that much lane presence. So I, I unless they're just catching Chuan here, I really don't see how they're going to be able to get a good kill. Chuan's going to be slowed out by the concussive shot, the follow-up with the Wiz Tether, and they will be able to keep up. Luo really needs a static link, but he actually ran out the... Whoa, the creeps! They blocked him out now, and Super is actually going to be dying here. He needs to be able to tether to the side. Doom! One last hit. They don't quite get it. Now Ferrari finding Chuan in the corner. They can maybe possibly kill Skyrath Mage first, but no, he gets the first blood. Luo will make sure that that health potion doesn't stay for Wisp. 
And uh, such a close interaction there. The creep wave coming in and blocking out the Doom as he was pursuing Chuan. But in the end, Earthshaker, a eh, little bit of harassment here on XDD, just forcing him back. Sir Shaker should have a very, very good lane with the Lich Baby sitting him here. So first blood for the Skywrath Mage, still gave up a kill to the Razor, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. This should be a fairly easy lane for XTT as well, so. The, the biggest problem where there was that uh, the Razor had already blown his static link, so it was a really good opportunity for IG to initiate there. Otherwise, they, if, if that static link had been up from the very beginning, they would have just been creamed. Because all that extra damage. Uh, Haystrune for the Skywrath Mage comes in from behind, just lay down some harassment. Nothing special, though. Going for the block up. Oh my god, he got it! 5400 has I nowhere to run to. So he, all right. I don't know how there is a gap there, but still, he died. What a play by Ferrari. That was a beautiful block. 5400 thought he was so cheeky with that A drone. And he gets quickly slapped down. Bottom lane, how's our uh, June doing? He's going up against a Juggernaut alone. Because the supports have been rotating out, so he's been able to get a lot of experience. Still has to be a little bit careful um, when the supports come back. But as long as he makes sure that he stays pretty healthy, he's fine. Oh, and they kill the Ember Spear in the mid lane. Thanks to uh, Chuan making a rotation in as well. Ferrari is before his back. He went for the uh, boots first, which I kind of like versus the Ember Spirit lane. Super in some trouble. Right click down by Dune and will also grab the creep wave over. So he is now doing an excellent job in his off lane. Pretty much every single lane from IG is going to win. Thanks to the very greedy setup from uh, from Light Gaming and that Earthshaker, the choice to pick up the Lich as the last pick and running an Earthshaker core. Now the bottle's picked up by Ferrari. I do like the fact he went for the boots, though. I think I think that makes a lot of sense in this melee versus melee matchup. Centaur's already got his tramp boots, so he's going to be full health every single time he moves in to this bottom lane. And Rise that'll mean I don't the think the spin the and attack. any additional nukes that the Skyrath Mage will be able to throw in are going to be enough to kill the Centaur. I think they can actually... He can tank the full brunt of that. Now, maybe once the Juggernaut has his level 6, things will change up a bit more, but... For the time being, the Centaur are perfectly happy with where he's at. But yes, the fact that... Oh, hold up! Oh no, 5400 gets caught out by Chuan. The block off from... Ferrari is going to be perfect once again. And now 1-5, to five, IG. Just kind of stomping. Ooh, that Inchone totem, totem had actually gone off. They could have probably killed the Earth Share or the Ember Spirit there. Leading with the Fisher, follow up right click, and XDD. Just getting harassed back. And that's the thing about this uh, this Enchant Totem. There's so much value, but a heavy rotation here from Light Gaming. Four heroes in the mid lane. They're going to chase down Ferrari. He does have a regen, but will be caught out. And regen, a little bit more regen. Bottle, XDD. He doesn't have Slate of Fist. Ferrari's going to live through a four-man rotation, and they're going to get a return kill, too. XDD will die as he dove in way too deep. Two versus four. IG walk away with a kill, thanks to an excellent use of both his magic wand charges as well as that regen. Earthshaker was able to just heal up just enough to stay ahead of those nukes. What a disaster for Light Gaming, committing so many heroes and losing the engagement like that. That is not only demoralizing as hell, but tactically speaking, just screws them so badly. And now they just gotta focus on farming, I think. Try to make something happen like that. They continue another mistake like that, I think this game is pretty much over. Like, they can't afford to be making those kind of errors. They still have a great late game to fall back on, but they've already given a significant amount to uh, to IG to start this snowball because we're going to be having they're already have, having a really good laning phase 
um, just based on CS and the fact that Lich, Lich usually ensures you have a really good landing phase in general. But uh, then add on top of that, you've got Snowball Heroes. You've got the Razor, the Shadow Shaman as a support is a pretty good Snowball Hero as well as those early levels of Mass Serpent Wards allow you to take those towers, earlier Radiance towers, maybe the faster blink or faster ags. And it just Radiance goes from there, so the light gaming have to fall back on some pretty Spire good late game here. Like they gotta hope this game draws out for another 35 minutes at least. Now, still on the Juggernaut, he's free farming the bottom lane, he's sitting at 39 and 12. The problem is the Centaur is doing pretty damn well in this bottom lane. Is he's sitting at 16 and 2. With uh, already Come having on. his level 6, soon to be level 7. And could get a fast blink dagger at this rate. No Omni Slash being used either. Like that's that's another thing. Juggernaut needs to be able to find those openings with his Omni Slash. And I do like the fact he has a TP scroll ready to go, but I don't think he's gonna be able to kill the centaur. Denied. Trying to chain for CS. This is how desperate XDD is right now. And Ferrari. Uh, I like a uh, nice little treads build, I'm thinking. Down with that. Who needs mana boots? Super. Right click on the. Was it worth it, Super? He got 50 gold, but he may be losing his life. June comes in. Nice little set of chains there from XDD. And they will be able to back themselves up, though. Doom teleported in, so the rotation for offlaners, both rotating into the middle lane. Nothing major lost. Yeah, nice block off once again from the Earthshaker, and he'll just fill up his bottle. Ferrari Earthshaker is a beast, man. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Yeah. XD is currently, let's take a look at net worth, because I think CS is being a little bit misleading thanks to all the early kills from the side of IG. Yeah, Juggernaut is actually sitting in third in net worth. He's kind of tied up with Earthshaker right now. But uh, just because of the early kills this Earthshaker has been a part of, he is actually ahead of the Juggernaut for now. Razor being top of the board thanks to the kills, and now they're actually going to go for it with the Wiz, trying to jump in already. The Shackle's gone out. Can they finish off XD? They might be able to. Right click him down. Oh my god. Juggernaut, the highest net worth in the board right now for Lie Gaming, just gets wiped as they attempt to initiate here in the top lane, and he doesn't even get off the Zombie Slash. Luo will also survive thanks to his heavy amount of tankiness from all the items he has. And now with the mech, they'll commit to taking this tier 1 tower, Radiance and things are looking fallen. pretty damn grim for Lai Gaming, who pulled out a, just a raffle stomp in game 2. But this, this game is quite the opposite. June is going to go ahead and stampede up this Skywrath Mage. Hex is going to be the first initiating tool, and with the uh, Serpent Wards being committed, they'll certainly get the kill. They may also be able to get the tier 1 tower as well depending on what lie gaming want to prioritize here and whether or not they try and back up and defend that or just sit and go more for farming in the lanes. Centaur now surpasses the Juggernaut in net worth as his recent death costs him while the recent tower pickup in the bottom lane gives June a huge influx of gold that now gives him his blink dagger. Oh ho ho! There's the first echo slam of the game. XDD gonna be wiped out as Ferrari shows off this shiny little uh, little dagger he's got and smashes the Ember Spirit's face in. He's also got a haste rune to be able to ready to go. So the double blink melee initiators are ready to go and super June. Uh, Problem with those spirits. Very hard to try and blink dagger on a wisp when he's got this. Now he's going to be able to still find the opening. Uh, super. Super. Don't know what you were doing there, buddy, but it was not a great idea. Rotation in from the right side. Juggernaut. 
can he finally find an opening here? This Omni Slash is just not going to be enough for them to win the fight. They need more. Stack is going to be cleaned up. Oh, they actually found XD. They have Vision up here. They're going to chain stomp him down. XD once again is going to be left with no potential Omni Slash. He just gets right clicked down. Now XDD being held in place. Juggernaut, they actually are stealing all of his damage. Ripped right through that flame guard. Don't care whatsoever. The buyback from Juggernaut. He's going to come back in, ready to go with this Omni Slash. But what can they really kill? Hexed up XD. Don't tell me he's going to die yet. The dieback. Oh my god. Is this game over already? 12 minutes in. XDD is down. Four heroes. Wiped out IG. Oh man, they took a cut, just shafted in game two. But they just turn around in game three and do so much worse back to live gaming. Holy cow. 12 minute GG call. Ferrari or Shaker, man. I mean, there were so many different factors. IG just won their lane so handedly. But uh, Ferrari or Shaker makes a big flash. 12-minute GG call. Whew.